Hello and welcome to Fast Talk. My name is Bulza Krajkova and I'm one of the product managers at Fastums and also the host of today's show or episode, if we might call it like that. Um, today we're going to talk about a very interesting topic where we're going to tackle and clarify maybe a myth or sci-fi dream that many manufacturers have, um, but we're going to actually go from the perspective that that can be true. Um, and it's about automating the existing machine tools. When we talk about automation, we know that, especially lately, automation and digitalization in general have been um, the key trends which have been shifting the manufacturing industry towards successful business outcome and customer value. And this was highly proven, um, especially during the pandemic, uh, where we have shown, uh, where it has been shown how uh, the manufacturing industry was the one to have recovered the fastest um, despite the significant challenges that the pandemic brought, such as labor shortages and supply chain disruptions and so on, that all the other industries faced as well. However, we're going to talk today more about how can this automation journey start? Is it a privilege only of um, uh, companies or manufacturers that um, invest in new machines? Or is it, can it be also an upgrade solution to the existing machine tools? I have two very special guests today um, uh, who have the ideal experience to tackle, uh, tackle and discuss and give more insights regarding this topic. So we have Heiki Halila here, the Vice President of Fostums, and Temu Pekka Ahonen, the Product Manager at Fostums. Please, guys, introduce yourself and tell us a bit about your experience and journey in Fostums so our viewers know more about you. Yeah, thanks Bulsa for the introduction. So, so if I may start, so so yeah, as Bulsa said, hey, kiss my first name and uh, been with the company the past 15 years already. Time, time seems to be flying and uh, I've always been been in, in very close contact with our customers and, and, and the markets um, in a very, you know, front roles uh, in, the, in the company. So the past seven years I lived in Germany, helping our central uh, European German speaking customers to automate and, and currently in charge of our, our part handling business, uh, which is more known as robotics business, maybe, maybe to the audience. And uh, where we're practically helping the, the manufacturers to automate uh, with uh, software solutions and, and robotics automation, their part handling uh, manufacturing related issues. Yeah, so thanks, Pulsa. So, yeah, my name is Teo Pekkahonen. And like Pulsa said, I'm working as a product manager at, at Fastems and uh, have had the privilege of working with robotic automation now some 17 years. So, very interesting journey, and I think it, the pace will just kind of uh, hasten in the future. So looking forward to that. Very happy to have you here in this episode. Um, but before we go more deep into the topic uh, for today, um, about those viewers that don't know where we come from, what is Fostums? Can you please tell us a bit what is Fostums all about? What do we do? And why is this topic relevant to us today? Yeah, for sure. So, so Fostums is a leading supplier of, of CMC automation solutions. And, and we are concentrating on this high kind of high mix, low volume production environment. And that's in a way something, something quite unique for, for automation company in our, our industry. Our purpose is to, to unleash the full potential of our customers' manufacturing by automating and digitizing their manufacturing processes, enabling our customers to do really the right things at the right time, all the time. Um, that being the 8,760 hours in a year, as our logo and brand promise says. And as I, I already said, so, so, so what sets us apart on top of this uh, high mix, low volume is that, that we are not only automating the physical movement of the parts, uh, we are as well uh, automating the, the production, production planning and uh, uh, enabling the, the customers to, to really enjoy the unique combination of the high utilization and low unit cost and short lead times. So it's a combination of these two things. So not only automating the, the physical movement of the parts, but also the, the production planning and, and the resource management. Yeah. Traditionally, it is believed that these kind of benefits and these kind of automation solutions provided by us are considered as an integration to when investing in a new machine tool. So manufacturers usually consider that, okay, I've invested into a new machine and I want to have the best return on investment on that machine and 
in order to keep that machine running and get the most out of it, they invest into these automation solutions. But what about those manufacturers that do not have, let's say, the space or not, um, they're, they're, they don't have, they do not want to invest in a new machine tool, but they do still um, want to improve the production of their existing machine tool. Is that something viable um, to be done? Yeah, definitely so. So um, it is possible to, to automate the existing machine tools, as, as the theme says. So, uh, and, and we have been practically doing that already for a couple of decades. So, so we, we know what we, are, what we are principally talking about. And as we see, the automating of the existing machine tools is as relevant as automating new machine tools, because uh, uh, if, if we think about it from the perspective of the benefits, so, so um, automating, uh, naturally the, the target is to, or it is a way to increase the productivity and the competitiveness and in the end, the profitability of the companies. And uh, uh, also one, one topic which, which automation of the existing machine tools is also enabling is this, this kind of a more happy workforce uh, when you're automating uh, this kind of a monotonous and repetitive work which you have normally at the, at the factories. Yeah, I think there's a lot of opportunity in, in, uh, in this area because I think, the, I think the goal for us also is to kind of maximize uh, the the output that you get from your assets, whether they're new or old, but I think or existing, not old necessarily, but existing. Yeah. So to really really get the most out of your production assets. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and that also contributes to sustainability targets. Yeah. What the companies are are nowadays pushing pushing more and more forward. Yes. Um, okay. So we basically now know that it's doable to get all of these benefits from also existing machines by upgrading them with automation. But our viewers might be wondering, uh, how easy is that to do to be done? Are there some potential challenges which need to be overcome, especially when we consider the technical aspect? What about the machine interface, safety and such? What do you think? I, I think that the technical aspects are, are these days quite well manageable. Mm-hmm. But I think the trick is in getting the different equipment to talk to each other. So the interface plays definitely a, a big role. Uh, of course, safety naturally as well. Uh, but from the machine tool side, I would say that you had just have to look at the machine tool type, age, controller, software version in that, and that kind of sets the playing field that what is available from the interface point of view and what kind of automation can we then start to plan on top of that, that sandbox. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, Yeah. maybe one, one point which we could be adding to that. So, so um, naturally there's going to be most probably challenges and, and technical hurdles to overcome, but that that's the reason why open integrator like like our company is existing. So so we are we are there to help our, the, the manufacturers on their automation journey, whether it's a new machine or whether it's an with existing machine. Yeah. yeah, and I think also that there's also of course the question that okay, how can I physically access my machine tool, uh, work working um, areas and and. And, and what kind of solutions can be implemented in there, but uh, do I need an automatic door, for example, a very good example of a small but tiny, le- tiny detail in the whole big picture, but still has to be solved. But I think there are good opportunities and good solutions for those challenges as well, and they can be well tackled in the projects. Yeah. Yeah, so, so. so it seems that the, it is hmm. doable and with minimal yeah. fuss, manufacturers yeah. can get yes. of the course, automation yeah. benefits. Yeah. Of, course it's also a, 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 of course, it's also a kind of a, a joint uh, joint uh, play together with the machine tool suppliers as well, mm-hmm. because sometimes you might need one or the other mechanical modification to the, to the machine mm-hmm. tools. But those are kind of just things that you agree and and, and proceed. Yeah. All right. Um, okay. Now b- we we have been talking about automation and its benefits and also the technical aspect of achieving that. But automation can be very broad and our viewers might wonder what kind of automation solutions can we get? So what kind of automation solutions can Fostums offer in regards to this um, as an upgrade for the existing machines? Well, I think it all depends on the kind of the, the of course, the interface sets some, some uh, let's say, basic basic rules on what what you can get out of that and and of course from that comes that what what is the level of advancedness of the system but i would say that if you think that you you let's imagine a situation where you don't have an interface at all do you have solutions to improve your productivity uh in those situations you bet so there is there is a lot of kind of software related uh features in our in our solutions that can help also in those situations but then 
whether it is a transfer of pallets or or it is a robotic cell, uh, there are many many different alternatives that we can go with, and. And of course, you have a, a lot of other things that you have to take care in these systems. You might have tool, machine tools, um, uh, tool related issues and, and challenges. There are also solutions for those. So a lot of different alternatives and also also solutions for implementing value adding processes in robotic systems, for example, like like washing or deburring or measuring and that kind of things. Yeah, both both of you mentioned that um, it doesn't only come with physical um, movement automation, but also production control um, through our software solutions. Can you please, one of you, tell us a bit what does it mean? What comes with this package? How does our software offering support the production control? That, that is a great question. So if I may start there, Mopekka. So, so um, we have been working very hard in enabling the the benefits for for the customers also without the physical automation mm -hmm. so so as i said in the early beginning so, so we are not moving the parts around we are actually taking taking control of the production by by planning the the production uh, processes and and also the resources which are needed so if we think about that and and try to match that with the with the life of an operator so so naturally that enables us to to explain and help and support the operator to do the right things as well. So, so when we know uh, on an order-based production environment that, okay, what would be your next orders? And we have the recipe in planning the manufacturing resources. So practically we can help the operator to do the right things by, by saying that, okay, this tool needs to be prepared for that machine in that time and, and so on and so forth. So, so that, that's the why, why we are saying that the same benefits can be reached with only software solutions mm -hmm. and also without the without the physical automation yeah. actually on a operation is not not fully possible but at least we yeah. can we can yeah. keep up the yeah. schedule by doing the right things at yes. the right time and also kind of bringing the the important things to the attention of the operator at the right times and and this also means that sometimes you might not require you might not even require a kind of a large uh, IT infrastructure project we have customers who have implemented this kind of approaches also from the from the cloud. So there are new technologies that are coming into the field, bringing more and more tools, so that we can realize really productive, uh, productivity enhancing solutions. Mm -hmm. So I, I think the future looks pretty bright in that that front. Yeah, I, I would agree on that. And and you can you can have also these kind of electrical interfaces mm -hmm. to the machines, which enhances even even the the software capability to plan. But that that's not a prerequisite. So so you don't need to have that. So so there, yeah. there's also these kind of solutions available without any connection with the with the machine tool. Mm -hmm. So even that, if we go back to the technical aspect, even if there is no physical interface connection to the machine, there is still uh, potential or possibility yeah. for getting some of these benefits. Definitely so. Okay, so, but do we have, how could we prove this? Have we done this before? Or are there some case examples that you can talk about uh, that actually prove that automation of existing machines has paid off to, to the manuf manufacturers? Yeah, we have multiple references generated during the, these couple of decades, some, some newer, some older, naturally, and, and, and on, on different kind of levels. So, so as we discussed uh, just just briefly about the the software solution, so that that is without a doubt possible, and and also without any connection to the machine tool, that that's that's helping the manufacturers to improve their productivity. On top of that, we have cell level solutions for for one or two machines, which, which are available as demo pack already briefly described, and then we have this kind of a system level solutions for for multiple machine tools, where where customers have been, for example, uh, replacing their their old existing automation with the new one, but but still still running the old existing machine tools on it so so that that's also a, a case example so so it, it varies a bit and it's always driven by the customer's requirement of their production and, and the need in, uh, in the end so yeah and and kind of that um, I would like to say that or bring a couple of examples from this to the to the uh, podcast to, so to the kind of say that um, uh, we have had for example a customer a customer Kongsberg automotive who has integrated five existing machine tools into a new uh, pallet handling automation system, uh, our FMS1 solution, and, and with, with significant production increases. And, and that's a case story that you can find from our web pages. So uh, please check it out. I think that's a very, very nice example of, of this topic. And, and it also does not always kind of, or 
or you're not just kind of restricted on new or existing, you can also have both. So we have hy- kind of hybrid, <laughs> so to say, hybrid approach that you could have a new machine in- investment automation solution and also incorporate something that you already have to bring the the performance of that that machine tool even higher. So, and and that from from such a case example, we have Buck CNC technique from from Germany that have done precisely this with uh, one of our robotic solutions, the RoboCell One. So. And what's kind of really hybrid. neat on this yeah. on this solution is that you you have different brands also yeah. in, incorporated yeah. Yeah. into so the same the, solution, that's same the open so. integrator uh, approach and the, and the benefit of that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And also, uh, we also have if I mean we we have plenty, but I'm going to also mention this one company in Finland, uh, which is a subcontracting company who has automated some standalone existing machine tools without any um, physical. Um, hardware um, uh, solution, but it was purely software uh, through our work cell operation offering. And uh, they have managed to control their production floor and optimize it um, uh, through better planning and resource management, which is worth mentioning. Yeah. yeah. So basically, it, it, it even though automation of existing machines May f- may f- may feel as as an impossible or challenging approach. It seems that Fostums has shown um, in the f- in the past and continues to show uh, that it's doable uh, automating new machines and also with minimal fuss, uh, it can bring a lot of benefits. Uh, but how about the manufacturers um, who don't know um, what kind what is the best opportunity for them and and cannot identify or have challenges to identify with which automation solution uh, to go for for their production um, what should we do then yeah one one very good trick is to to go to our web pages for example mm-hmm. look look the sales representative next to next to you and uh, then then take it from there so so give give a give a call to us and we are more than happy to come over come by and and uh, figure out what your situation is and then then consult you in in finding the best mm-hmm. possible solution for your production's needs so I think that that's the best way to go forward. On top of that, if if you don't want to take that big of a step, then then taking a phone. So yeah. we have also embedded to our our web pages different kind of tools where you can exactly. you can yeah. in a way take a look whether your machines are yeah you know feasible to be automated, yeah. and uh, you know take it then then from there. Yeah, yeah. We have just recently developed a test or a quiz, if we, if we may call it, and it's called. EMTA test, existing machine tool automation test, which you can find maybe below in the comment description uh, attached to this episode uh, where um, you can actually assess the potential of your existing machine uh, for automation. And maybe that can be a first start. Um, uh, and then after that, you can also have the possibility to download our EMTA guideline, which we, we which we will also make sure to add it in the comment description, uh, which this guideline will kind of give you more insights, information on what needs to be considered um, when it comes to automating your existing machine. And as Heike said, uh, in case you want to increase the productivity of your existing machine, please feel free to contact us. There are different alternatives and paths that you can take depending on the on your needs and the production uh, and your production variables. So, yeah. yeah. I think there's a lot of potential for productivity increase through automation. So. I agree. Yeah. And through di- digitization. Yes, that's so. also yeah. that's a big yeah. topic as well. Yeah. yeah. So in order to stay competitive, you have to follow the trends. Well, it makes sense in the end. Definitely. Profit pays off. increase. Yeah. Pays off. Automation pays off always. <laughs> <laughs> Are we that, that's that's the future. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Anyways, guys, this was a very nice mm. talk and I hope our viewers enjoyed it as well. Thank you. And maybe we can see you again in some other episodes. Thank Would you. Be great. Thank you for Looking the invitation.